God just brought me a lawnmower. He said that a uh, bolt fell off of it. Brought me the bolt originally. He said he'd come back. It's been a couple weeks. He finally came back and he brought me the mower. And now you got to see this mower. The carburetor's falling off of it. And I asked him if it vibrated a lot when he ran it. I asked him uh, if it hit anything. I told him it sounded like the crankshaft was bent. No, no, no. It just run along and that fell off and it quit running. So let me show it to you. I should also point out what you're about to see. I haven't done anything to the mower. This is how I got it. Uh, the only thing I did was take the spark plug out to, number one, keep it from starting on me. Like that's going to happen. You'll see. And number two, so I can turn it over easier to see the condition of the crankshaft. And I've also got a uh, vice grip on the safety bar. But other than that, what you're about to see is exactly how he brought it to me. This is what he brought me. Bolt from the gas tank, which is as loose as it can be whole thing. Fuel line's pulled off. Which that doesn't really look like a fuel line to me. This is hanging out. Piece of the carburetor still stuck on here. There's the carburetor. Just hanging around. Nothing to it. Just there you go. So I looked underneath. What's that? And what's that? Hmm. Could have been vibrating a lot? Gee, I don't know. Don't fall on me. And it wobbles. Not good. It's all been up. Ain't worth fixing. Kind of funny that he tried to tell me it wasn't shaking. Pretty obvious that it wasn't. But, anyhow. So I called the guy up, told him his lawnmower crankshaft was bent and it pretty much wasn't worth fixing I might at least 80 bucks for a crankshaft if I can find it locally even more if I have to have it shipped plus the labor of put tearing the engine down putting it together putting the carburetor and all that back together and it's going to need a new deck because the deck is cracked so he told me to keep it and to let him know if I had any lawnmowers for sale so I have another carburetor and what not to add to my collection. So I'm tearing down the craftsman for parts. It has a bent crankshaft. Took this off. It's the only thing that was tight. We got two of these bolts. The one missing bolt. See somebody tried to patch it back up with a Phillips screwdriver. It's hard hard to see, but that's cracked. I'm gonna take that off. So I've got the carburetor off. And you can see the O-ring's holding out, falling out, and it's cracked where it mounts. Well it cracked off of the brackets. It's supposed to be connected to. And was hanging by a Phillips screwdriver, or Phillips screw, crammed into that hole. And had a screwdriver taken out, turned to a quarter turn, and it fell off. Don't even know how it's old. And this is as if this hasn't been an interesting enough experience. I'm taking the motor off to scrap the deck because the deck is crack cracked. And what do I find? 
this weird little out of place bolt. And I have no idea how it got there. Absolutely no idea how it got there. Hmm. It's kind of funny I got this mower when the other day I watched a video from the Mower Medic 1. Uh, be honest with your mechanic. It's just funny that this guy brought it to me and act like there was nothing wrong with it. It just fell apart. When it clearly looks like somebody's been running for quite a while after it being bent. I mean, the blade had no nicks in it. They'd replaced it, probably. And uh, the blade was a little rusted. So it's probably been on there a while. Been on there long enough to crack the deck, be repaired twice, and then other parts fall off of it. So there you go. Not safe. If that thing had kept running much longer, that other bolt could have cracked and it could have come off and then hurt somebody. So definitely not safe. <laughs>